Aloha guys, Chef Ippy here. I got another great recipe today. We're making you something out of my book, the Easy Hawaiian Cookbook. It's gonna be a hibachi beach pork that I got for you. It's super good, super easy. Let's get into it. This is something we made all the time when I was a little kid. It's not fancy, guys. This is literally the stuff we'll put in a Ziploc bag, take down to Hapuna Beach, and throw it on the grill. That's how easy and delicious this is meant to be. This is meant to be a simple family dish. I'm using pork loin. You could use um, chicken thighs if you don't like pork. You could use chicken breasts if you want it to be more healthy. I like to use pork loin because it's tender, has a lot of fat, and has a lot of flavor. You could also use flank. I've done pork flank, and it is delicious done like this. So whatever cut of meat you want to do, I've never really tried it with beef, wouldn't recommend it, but I mean, hey, I'm not gonna stamp, stamp on your parade, do whatever you want to do. So I'm using pork loin here. We got three to four pounds of pork loin. I'm gonna trim up a little bit of that fat. Half a cup of beer, I'm using Hawaii's finest right here. Do a cup of brown sugar, a cup of miso, three quarters of a cup of our favorite shoyu, aloha shoyu, half a cup of creamy peanut butter, two tablespoons of minced grated ginger, and four cloves of garlic. That's it guys, that's how easy this thing is. Let me show you what we do and get into it. It is a bowl. Got it. Now we're gonna build the marinade. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding in our dry ingredient spoons. In my book, I asked for uh, a tablespoon of minced ginger. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to peel the ginger. If you guys live in Hawaii, you probably already know this trick, but uh, the easiest way to peel garlic is to use a spoon. Don't use a peeler, don't use anything else, just use a spoon and you're just gonna scrape the skin right off. Ginger skin is very delicate, and comes right off just like that. The best part about the spoon is you can get in all the cracks and crevices and you don't have to kind of waste any of that ginger. So the first cut we're gonna make is gonna be with it, against it, all right? But that's just one way. So if you don't wanna do it that way, you can take a grater. I'm using a microplane. You could use a box grater if you have at home. Just try to use the smallest part of your box grater. And all you do is super easy, guys. You just grate the ginger like that. We only need about a tablespoon of that, so we're gonna throw that into our marinade. We're doing four garlic cloves. Now, I've showed you guys this lots of times on the other video. Instead of using your sharp end of the knife, we're gonna use the dull end here, okay? Garlic has a ton of oils. That's why it can get sticky when you're cutting it and stuff. It has a ton of oils in it, a ton of sugars, and when you smash it like this, you release a lot of those oils, and you make it a lot easier for yourself, all right? Four cloves of garlic, minced up, add it into the bowl. Now I'm gonna clean my station to pretend like I work very immaculately, even though I normally don't. Now we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. We have a cup of brown sugar. Try to use light brown sugar. If you only have dark brown sugar, it really doesn't matter, but light brown sugar is what I noticed. Kind of goes the best with the miso. One cup of brown sugar, one cup of miso. I'm using um, white miso. You could use red miso if you want. Whatever miso you have works. I'm just, I had white miso. It was the cheapest stuff at the store, so that's what I'm using. This is half a cup of creamy peanut butter, okay? It has to be creamy peanut butter. You don't, well, it doesn't have to be creamy peanut butter. You could use chunky peanut butter. I've never done it. Let me know in the comments if it comes out good, if you do use it. But again, I've always used creamy peanut butter. This isn't the fancy stuff. This is just the, what is it? Jif, gif, the stuff you get in the stores. It's not fancy. Half a cup of creamy peanut butter for our shoyu. This is actually, again, the best shoyu that you can buy. Aloha shoyu, our favorite shoyu, our favorite brand to use. Aloha shoyu, I've said this many times, is my favorite because it complements sauces rather than overpowers them. I notice any other shoyu I use or soy sauce I use overpowers the sauce. This complements it. So I have about three quarters of a cup, half a cup to three quarters of a cup of shoyu. Pour that right in there. Try not to get it on my Tory Richards shirt. And our favorite beer in Hawaii, Stein Lager. I, I mean, all my locals out there know about green bottles and how it works, you know? So we only need half a cup of beer. Now half a cup for the dish. I use a different measuring cup. Maybe a little more than half a cup, but. Recipe calls for half a cup. You can use any type of beer you want. Um, I'm using Stein Lager. Of course, I told you why, because we love it. But you could use, you know, any type of lager. I don't, I wouldn't recommend an IPA, but if you wanted to use it, you could. 
to try to use something like a lager or something that's a little more uh, mild in flavor. I guess you could even use a cider. I bet you a cider would be, <laughs> would be super good in this because you got the pork, miso, all that. So try to use a cider. That could be good too. That might be my next recipe. We'll see. All right, now we're going to mix all this up, whisk all this together. So that, that's what you get there. You see that? Beautiful marinade. Pork loin is already pretty nice. Um, it's, they've done a lot of the work for us already at the grocery store, so that's fantastic. I am just gonna trim off a little bit of this fat. And a little bit of this silver skin here. You can see uh, this stuff right here is called silver skin. That's what you, on meats and stuff. You always wanna take that off because that's gonna be a little bit tough and uh, doesn't break down as fast as the rest of your meat. You don't have to get crazy with it, but I'm just taking off any pieces that I think will be a little chewy because uh, we're going to marinate this and all we're going to do is give it a light grill, light grill, give it a grill and um, slice it up. So you do want to get any of those pieces off. It's not going to be cooking for too, too long. I, at this point, like to butterfly the loin. You don't have to. You could leave this thing whole, put it in there, grill it, and slice medallions off of it. Um, but I do like to butterfly it up a little bit. Is this cut in half to make it more manageable and, and you guys can check it out. You see how normally your pork loin is round, right? It's the piece of meat that actually hangs right, uh, it goes right underneath the spinal cord of, the, of the, the pig or the cow or anything. That's where you get the tenderloin. The reason it's so tender is because it doesn't move that much. If you think about a cow and, and animals and how they move, Anything between the shoulder blades or on the spine don't move that much. So they don't have a lot of connective tissue and they're really tender. They cost a lot more, just like filet or tenderloin does. What I'm gonna do is you, you take it from the half, halfway point, and you just slice it and kind of just butterfly it open. Butterflies, nothing fancy. People have been butterflying things forever. Same thing, then you go halfway and cut right half through it. This way it makes it a little more thin. It also creates more surface space and it'll make our marinating process a lot easier. So we're gonna start marinating that in our miso marinade. All right, once we throw it in the marinade, give it a good mix. You're gonna let this sit for about 24 hours, okay? Throw it in a Ziploc bag, put it in your refrigerator, and let it sit. If you only have a few hours, that's totally fine too. You can marinate it for a few hours, or you can marinate it overnight, that's the best. We already have some marinating, we're gonna pull it out and throw it on the grill. I'll show you guys how we finish this. Just like that, guys, super, super easy. Now, this is my favorite part about this dish. You get it, you marinate it, you throw it in your bag, and just like this, you take your bag down to the beach, get your hibachi going, hibachi, you know, grill, you get your grill going, throw it on the grill, and it's that simple. So now that I've had this marinating for a little bit, I'm gonna take it over to my grill and throw it on. Yeah, perfect. Now the sugar and everything is gonna create a lot of caramelization. It's gonna make things really sticky. Don't worry about that, that's supposed to happen. Now for my obviously favorite part, eating the stuff, okay? This is our miso peanut butter beer marinated pork loin. Look how beautiful it is. Usually when we have this at, at the beaches and stuff like that, it's poo-poos, which is appetizers. It's stuff we just snack on. So you can see the grain is going this way, and I'm obviously cutting against it so that it stays nice and tender. And it's sticky. I can even feel it when just touching it. It's nice and sticky. It smells delicious. Okay. Put this on our plate, just like that. Just keep an eye on that. All right, so we have our miso pork. It's not, I didn't say it was a pretty dish, but I said it was a delicious dish. So how we eat this here is with a condiment or with a side that I actually already made a video on. If you guys go and check out my first video I ever made, I made some pickled onions, Portuguese style pickled onions is what I call them. This dish, the sweet, salty, um, umami flavor that's in the pork combined with the sour, crispy, fresh flavor that's in the pickled onions, 
I'm telling you guys, this is a match made in heaven. I'll put the link at the end of this uh, video. You can go and click on it so you can go watch how to make these pickled onions. This is what you serve with it, okay? You don't need any kind of sauces or anything like that because I'm telling you, this thing has a ton of flavor. We're gonna throw on our pickled onions. There's also like, um, you'll see in the recipe, there's sweet peppers and things in this pickled onion recipe. Or you could just put a pile of the onions on the side if you wanted to, it all depends on however you wanna serve it. I'm finishing it with a little bit of green onions also to add some freshness, sesame seeds. Just because I'm trying to be fancy for you guys extra fancy just for you there you have it guys this is hibachi beach miso pork this is so easy this is my childhood right here guys this is what we used to take to hapuna you go a big bag of this stuff take it down to the beach super delicious this with the pickled onions man you gotta try this bro this is like oh my good really tasty Give it time to marinate because it's flavor. It's like miso butterfish, except miso piggy fish. Stuff is so, so freaking good. Okay. Got anything in my teeth? Okay. Mahalo guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. As you can tell, we're gonna be making a lot more of these. These are super fun. We really enjoy it. Let us know if you have any questions. Send us the pictures of your dishes when you make them, if you can, just so we can see how they came out again. Hibachi, miso, beer, peanut butter, pork. I don't know. We'll come up with the right name for it. But mahalo, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoy. Aloha.